Well, the legacy Shannon Hearn leaves on the football club is profound as he prepares for the end. He is a West Coast Games record holder and their 2018 Premiership captain, plus all sorts of accolades that have come along the journey. A man's man, hey, Dermy. Certainly is. Looks like one, plays like one, but kicks it a whole lot better than your average man, man. A brute of a defender and a true icon of the West Coast Eagles. It's the only game with zero finals ramifications this weekend, but it is the biggest game of the year in WA. It is the Western Derby. We thought Shannon Hearn would be featuring, but unfortunately he hasn't been named tonight and joins us live on 360+. Plus. Shannon, we'll get to your career and congratulations, but firstly, why aren't you playing the Derby? Yeah, go, Kath. Um, oh, Achilles has pulled up a bit sore from the last game against North Melbourne, so it hasn't quite come good. And uh, unfortunately, that's what happens when you get a little bit older. Uh, things <laughs> don't work as well as they used to. You were one of the draw cards for this derby. We wanted to send you off one last final time. We, we know we had the round 24 locked in as a farewell game for you. Will, will that still be the case? Uh, yeah, that'll still be the case. So I've been able to uh, train and run this week, which has been good. So it's all uh, progressing to be able to play against Adelaide in the last round. But uh, as you said, like the, the, the derbies have always been brilliant to play in and um, it would be disappointing not to be able to play in another one. Shannon Dermott here. Congratulations, mate, on a wonderful, wonderful career. You've captained a premiership team. Just that's the absolute ultimate in my mind. Actually, can I call, call you Bunga or Shannon? What do you prefer? <laughs> Whatever you uh, like, but uh, Bunga gets spoken a lot, so I tend to answer to that a bit more. <laughs> oh, fantastic. When you entered this caper, did you expect it to be 330-plus games, a premiership, a premiership captain, and all the success you've had along the way? Did you expect to reach that type of dizzy height? Oh, I certainly didn't um, expect to be able to have you know, 18 years in the system. Um, I think any chance, uh, for, first of all, you want to, be able to have the opportunity to be drafted and then once you uh, get into um, the system, you want to be able to play a couple of games and enjoy it along the way. And then I think it's more about um, wanting to uh, get better and making sure you can help the team win, uh, which you know, we're fortunate enough to do. We've been a successful club along the way. But to be able to play you know, over 300 games and um, 18 years in the game, I didn't think I'd be able to um, get anywhere near this. What was it like joining the club back in uh, 05, ahead of that 2006 season when the Eagles are right in Premiership contention and you're just a youngster starting out your AFL career? Oh, well, it was, it was really exciting. Um, I was fortunate enough, even back home in South Australia at uh, the Central Districts Football Club, they'd played in, uh, I think, three or four Premierships at the time and was fortunate enough to be in one of them. And then coming over to West Coast, you know, the 2006 winning it, um, I thought success and premierships would just happen all the time. <laughs> so I think it's um, when you're younger, you understand uh, that they don't, or as you get older, you understand that they don't. Um, so I think the early days, the um, upbringing I had about that's why you play the game, you play to be successful, you play to win premierships. So for me, in my early days, that, that really helped me. And coming to West Coast, they were uh, you know, a fantastic team, um, brilliant superstars in the game, but also some great team uh, players as well. It must have made the 2018 uh, Premiership all the more sweeter. What are your emotions and thoughts when 2018 comes to mind, Shannon? Because there are so many great players who, who miss out on winning a Premiership. You not only captained a Premiership side, but it was one of the greatest grand finals of all time. Yeah, look, there is so many emotions um, about 2018 and... I think one of the things originally uh, you get is just that bit of relief that you've been able to uh, win one. You know, unfortunately, uh, 2015, we didn't play that well and um, Hawthorne beat us quite convincingly. So to be able to play one was fantastic. Um, that's what you aim to do. And as, as you said, like, I mean, um, numerous players play the game, some champions of the game. Some people um, don't even be able to get to play finals. So as you get older, you never take it for granted. But um, to be able to win it, um, in the style and the game that it was. I just thought um, the team that we had was, was wonderful because we had to fight back um, throughout the year and then obviously being five goals down and a bit of adversity, um, I just thought the group that we had was you know, one that could get back from that. It was an extraordinary game, wasn't it? And your old mate Gov in the back line, <laughs> those finishing moments. Where were you when he decided to take off and leave Jordan to go by himself? Your heart must have been in your mouth then, but he did the job, didn't he? Yeah, 
Yeah, he did. Yeah, Gov did the job, and that's what makes him such a great player. He um, backs himself in, and um, I think I, I was off for the blood rule. I think um, so. Once it got down the ground, it was um, yeah. Obviously, that passage of play was fantastic, and then Domi Sheed having the set set shot at goal. So we were uh, on the bench working out. Yeah, you know, if we kick it, what structure we're going to go to, and um, if he didn't, what were we going to do? So to be able to come back on. Um, being in front certainly made it um, easier, so we knew what was going on. But you know, Gov doing what he did was was fantastic. All you've done in football, and we can look at your accolades and we can see your record, and it's magnificent. But football, when you come into this, it's an institution, regardless of which club you're at, and it does form you and mould you into a certain individual. What has football done for you? Well, you're right, it's giving me um, plenty of opportunities, but I think football um, gives you the opportunity to um, grow as an individual, and what I mean by that is um, to take some control of your life early on as an 18-year-old. Um, it uh, shows the, work, the hard work that you need to be able to do to get the rewards, and then also the mateships um, and the journey that you can get along the way. They're probably the three things that I've been able to take from football and it's given to me, but um, you know, uh, memories, um, you know, understanding to sacrifice yourself for a greater cause as well. So there's been plenty of things that it's given um, and I've just been so fortunate enough to be able to play it for so long and just um, be indebted to it. And will, and will you pick up a cricket bat and have a hit again? <laughs> they reckoned you were pretty good at it before you chose yeah. footy. Uh, look, I've got a few mates that are still playing back home. Uh, maybe might give cricket a go, but um, I think at the end of this stage I'll just have a bit of a spell from sport. Congratulations, mate. What a wonderful career. Yeah, congratulations, Shannon. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. We hope to send you off in style in round 24. Easy. Thanks, Dermot. Thanks, Kath.